Hi there, I'm Bob Robertson and welcome to Drinking Beverages with Bob Robertson. Uh, today here is my uh, guest host, uh, Bob Robson. It's Rob Bobson. Hey. Rob Bobson is here. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, Rowdy Mermaid Kombucha. It's going to help you digest it with a rowdy belly. And uh, the first thing you're going to notice here is it's a clean white background on an orange canvas. Uh, it's a flavor based on function. It's telling me uh, there's actually some fun wordplay on the side here. And this is uh, you know, uh, a note that we've hit on a few times in the show. Is if you can make your marketing fun, if you can make your branding engaging, just engage the customer. Everyone appreciates it. So right now it's telling me to say it three times fe fast. Fenugreek, fenugreek, fenugreek. That's a, that's a, and that's a fun name of an ingredient. And we like being asked to do things. Can you say it? Fenugreek, fenugreek, fenugreek. That's great. Yeah, pretty fun. And not only is it verbally fun, it's functionally fantastic when you mix it with fennel, ginger, and turmeric. Which are also ingredients in this drink. Right. And that, that's, that, it's not lying to you about what's in there. So we're off to a good start. Bob, I, I, gotta, I gotta step in here. I'm sorry, there's one point that I wanted to make, which is that it doesn't mention all the ingredients. So it does say that there are a few fun things to mix with fenugreek, but it doesn't say all of their ingredients are fun to mix with fenugreek. So that raises a couple flags for me. You know, you are right, because I'm looking at the ingredients on the side, and we're also getting coriander yeah. organic lemon grass. Are those fun to mix with fenugreek? Why wouldn't they, why would they, withhold those from the list, you know? And why would you put it in? That's a, that's a very good point. So let, let's move on. Let's try to have a, let's have a nice sip here. I'm going to crack this open. Do this for four. Thank you. You're going to want to have a soft pour on this. Ooh. Wow. That's plenty. That's plenty. Thank you. Wow. Get, a, get a look at the, uh, the color in here. I don't want to get that close. Okay. Or maybe I'll just... <laughs> yeah. It looks a little like pee. In two cups, but it's bubbly, which is I'm getting a soft sour. Uh, oh, yeah. It smells like. It smells like kombucha. I'm getting a root beer flavor. Um, did you make, jump in with the first sip? I did. Fuck. I wonder why it's a rowdy mermaid. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just wishful. It's a bit light, actually, on flavor. Yeah, but that's okay. You know, you're a mermaid, you can move around. It's rowdy for a mermaid. Rowdy for a mermaid, that's the key. Nobody has to be in one place forever. You're a mermaid, you move around, you see what's up. See who you are in different environments. Right, maybe a calm person is a rowdy mermaid. The most distasteful path to a man is the path to himself. You're a mermaid. You move around. You don't have to be in one place. You try on different hats. Spend some time in the Arctic Circle. Spend some time in Cape Horn. You try on different hats and you see which one fits. Uh, maybe you should take another sip. I think it tastes a little celery. It's like almost like a celery. Uh, yeah. Um, there's live effect, live probiotics. This is going to help you with your digestion. Um, I like that about it. I like a drink that does. That's some good for me. This is also inspired by an ancient Ayurvedic recipe, um, carefully crafted to support digestion. I've never heard of anybody uh, 
from the Ayurvedic civilization having an digestion, so it seems like it's working. Um, one, uh, one problem I'm having is that we're getting 9 grams of sugar, uh, 45 calories. This is a good drink, it's light, it uh, makes me think about what kind of man I'd be somewhere else. I'd give it a big plus. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, I like it. It seems healthy. It's a little bit light for me, flavor-wise, flavor palette. I could go for something a little more full. Um, I, yeah, I'd give it like a like an 80, 87. Give it a what? I guess I mean, 87 translates to a few points. I, think, I agree with you. You can just play and start. So, this has been another episode of uh, Drinking Beverages with Bob Robertson, uh, guest host uh, Rob Bobson, and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah,